All right, got another Roby here. I might get some spare parts out of this one or that one over there. Um, this one's lived in the back of my ute for about eight months. <laughs> out in the weather on the old farm ute. So, hasn't been one. The fuel was, was well, it's blue. It's not even green, it's blue. Um, this is just a tear down though. This is, these are pretty much all poo poo buddy things. This is the cheaper, cheaper model than the green one you saw. This is when they really start, and they're really cheaping out now. You know, other than getting your brass eye with you know, switches on the, on the body, it's not even the thing anymore. And this one doesn't even have the safety guard on it, where you have to push. What's up with that? I don't know, because this is 2018. But I'll get some parts out of it, I'll get some parts out of it. This is the Pommer box that works. Okay, so first we start with see what compression we, compression we get. What do we here? What have we got? We've got a torch brand. Mm, yummy. Okay. The pressure reading says Hundred and sixty. <laughs> it's got a lot of compression, but these are as it goes, they're just junk. I hate these for vengeance, so at worst I'll pull the motor out. I usually keep the motors put aside because I get a lot of leaf bars occasionally you've got to be fixed. Where they just run and run and run. And I've actually used the motors out of these to fix them, so all this plastic cowling and stuff, I can go in the bin. I don't need all that. Okay. Put the side off. One air filter. Filled with oil. Beautiful. In the case of Denver tires, if I see one. Okay, let me get this photo off in a minute. Let's see, uh, Torx, bigger one. I'm going to remove the fuel tank in this because this is just oily grease and I'm going to put it aside. On well, these are pretty easy to do so I'm just going to turn them upside down. Let's free squeeze. Oh, 
You guys, the fuel system. It could be a mess elsewhere. Okie dokie. Oh, yeah, the plastic shroud has to come off. Sticky buggers, they put a small one there. What have we got? That's T15, small, T25, T20, T20. Right, we need a pair of needle nose. I'll use that because I'm not saving any of this. Bin. Should need all the cardboard here. Not much in these. A lot of oil in the exhaust on this. Okay, let's get this plastic off. It's a crash drum. Fort's right. Here's where he is. Hmm. That requires a power circuits to get that out. It's on a bearing there. I'll be worried about it if I wasn't keeping the damn thing. So, I don't know, maybe it's just, just a bit sticky. Oh, that's gotten hot a few times, bloody hell.
zwei. Küsst doch nicht. I've cocked it up completely. Look, I took that to Body piston stops. <laughs> the passive wing came off the end of the piston stop. Okay. This is a great grease, it's not funny. Because it's rusty. That's a bit of Fred Walker. Alright. This is a non cat. My four, which is always good. Got that in the starter box. And you got too much stock, we'll get into that. There goes the end of my T25, or T20, I have to say. Oh, so much draw in the exhaust. Ch -ch -ch. 
on the side of the exhaust on him. He's tiny. And a little bit of wear. And you see the machine lines and they disappear. That's where the wings and these are so thin and not funny. I'm personally not really a fan of these, but that's all I'm going to be. I can always shove some rags in it. 2015, and it's an 18s. That's the longest piece has been around for. I've plugged these holes up and put it away in a um, big Ziploc bag because uh, I'll use these fixed leaf files. I've got a mate that's got one that's on its way out, and this is a good running compression. So, I'll get that one of these guys. Spike plugs. Uh, one back in it. One rear OD motor. Put the way as a um, spare motor for leaf bowls. Oh, we're busy, you know. They all run the same shaft, so they're all pretty much the same. Not a fan of them. I think they're very wasteful, these engines, because you can't replace anything. You know, you take this off, and all the. Um, you can't even take the. Uh, Piston out. You got to you got to push it all out to get the piston out, and it's they're one way motor. They're disposable. But they go in the bin. At least I might have a spare part to fix the other whip stepper. I was missing that. <laughs> 